this video, I'd like to find the sum of this particular geometric series. I'm going to start by writing down the first couple of terms to see if we can find a common factor we can take out. So when n equals 1, I'm working with 3 to the 0 over 4 to the 2, which is 1 over 16. When n is equal to 2, I'm looking at 3 to the 2 minus 1, which is 3, divided by 4 to the 2 plus 1, which is 4 to the 3rd. And I'll leave it as 4 to the 3rd. When n is equal to 3, I'm looking at 3 to the 3 minus 1, so that's 3 squared, which I will leave as 3 squared. And in my denominator, I'm looking at 4 to the 4th. And you can see the pattern as it goes on from here. The next one will be 3 cubed over 4 to the 5th, and so on from there. So this is geometric because I'm only dealing with the powers being the things that change. In order to find the sum, I'm going to take the common factor, which is my first term, it's 1 over 16, and I'm going to factor it out of everything. So if I take a 1 16th out of everything, my first term is going to be 1, my next terms are going to be the same as they are, but my denominators are going to have two fewer powers. So it's 3 over 4, 3 squared over 4 squared, and 3 to the 3rd over 4 to the 3rd, and so on from there. This becomes a true geometric series. It starts at 1, and it only deals with powers of the same ratio. So I'm working at 1 16th, my ratio is 3 quarters, so it's 1 over 1 minus 3 quarters as my total sum. When I go through the process of simplifying this complex fraction now, I have a 16th times 1 over a quarter, and 1 over a quarter is the same as 4. So I end up with a 16th times 4, which is 1 quarter. So my total sum is 1 over 4.